Hey guys, how are you? This is Lisa here and I am back with a part two of some of my favorite cleaning products and just information about how to detox your home. There's Mila Fit making an appearance. So I did a video like this about a year ago and I just wanted to refresh you guys and share with you some of the great other products I've been using. So let's get right into it. So as my cleaning agent, I did used to use a lot of the Thieves and I have actually run out, but I still use a glass bottle, but instead I just use this Mrs. Meyers hardworking cleaner. Okay, so I just mix a little bit into here and then I fill it up with water and that is my cleaning solution. I use paper towels and I wipe that off, okay? Then I also have a spray. Now this I can use as a spray cleaner or right now I just have some lavender oil in it and some water in the witch hazel, so I actually use that um, as uh, a linen spray right before I go to bed. So that one's really nice. So this little guy is a great lotion when you don't have any lotion and when you have run out of lotion. Um, and the good thing about this is this is fractioned coconut oil. So that just means that the coconut oil has been slightly modified. Some of the chains have been taken out, so it's a liquid. So this is what I use actually when I make my essential oil roller bottles, but it's a clear, liquid and it's pure. It doesn't smell like anything. And I've been using it as a lotion because I ran out of mine. And I just haven't been wanting to use my smelly lotions. I do have one or two um, fragrant lotions. I have one in particular that I love. So the lotion that I love is actually the Laura Mercier lotion. And I have like, I got a bath and body, which is a present. And I can use a teeny, teeny bit of it, but um, the smell is a little bit strong, so I try um, not to use it and I just use something very, very simple. Some days I don't even wanna have a smell on me. I just, I want it, it's like something very, very plain. All right, so this is my lotion. Lately, my facial moisturizer, and this is something that I actually do make, and I love this product. It's very healing, it's very um, powerful. It has fatty acids in it to help lock in moisture but this is rose hip seed oil. So this is from the seed of a rose hip. So they extract this, you get this beautiful orangey type oil. It smells a little bit nutty and I use, um, I add a little geranium in it because geranium is very healing for the skin. So this has been one of my favorite moisturizers that I have been using and I, I do sell these. This is the only thing that I am selling <laughs> right now with my essential oils but um, I, you know, I'll buy it in bulk and I will, um, and this is organic, organic rosehip seed oil. So I'll just put it in these little containers and um, yeah, you can use it at night, you can use it in the morning. All right, so then let me talk about another moisturizer. I got this because again, one day I was just completely desperate and I bought this Burt's Bees um, really light moisturizer. It's a night moisturizer, but I do use it. I just find that I have to use a good amount of it. It's very gentle. The smell is wonderful and it's for sensitive skin. My skin is pretty sensitive, I would say. So not bad, not bad for a drugstore lotion. Very mild, but, but effective, yeah. All right. Um, this is an interesting product, but this is a great lip gloss. This is lanolin. So if you are a mother or you have ever breastfed in your life, you maybe have used this. Um, and that was, and I was inspired to buy this because there's a product called Lano Lips and it's just lanolin and they add some other stuff to it. So I said, why don't I just get the real thing? The only thing about this, this is not my favorite version of it. This is a HPA lanolin. So what it means is the consistency is a little bit different and it looks, if you can see it's white versus regular lanolin. You have to get the USP grade is like a yellowish color and it's thicker and it's really sticky and that's, I like a lip gloss to be sticky. So this is sticky, but like I'll put this on my hands. I even, I've been even putting it on my face sometimes at night to really lock in the hyaluronic acid that I've been using. So whatever, you can rub it around. It's very, um, it's not, this one's not sticky, right? But it's just another great way to use a moisturizer if you don't have anything. Okay. Um, then for skincare, I, this is like the game changer for me lately. I just started diving in a little bit deeper to skincare and the company called Image, Image Skincare, they have this vitamin C serum. It is absolutely amazing. I feel like it has evened out my skin tone. It helps to get rid of um, age spots. You can even use it on your hands and your neck. 
Um, I believe the company is more like on the natural side. They use a lot of stem cells as well. So I have actually the um, vitamin C cleanser that I rub on my face and I'll leave it on there for a few minutes, maybe while I'm brushing my teeth to do its job. And I have the vitamin C um, hydrating recovery eye gel. I've been using that as well. And I use this guy every night and sometimes in the morning. But I love it, I get it from um, my facialist and my massage therapist. She has this line in her office, so I just ordered directly from her. Um, you can order from the company if you want, but this is a beautiful, beautiful product. I absolutely love it. Oh, and so for every day, I'll use the 50, um, the Ultimate 50 Moisturizer because when you do use vitamin C, you can become more photosensitive to the sun, right? So you can get more sunspots. So I use this, but when I go in the sun and I know I'm going to be in the sun for a little bit longer, I use this from Sweet Station or I use the kids one because this has zinc oxide. It has zinc oxide and zinc really, really does a, an amazing job from protecting you from the sun. I'll sometimes use this on an everyday basis. This one even has a little tint to it. You can see very mild but once i get in a routine and i have it then i stick to it so i just use this guy every day once i run out i'll probably go back to using this sunblock is very very important i'm a big fan of sunblock now all right deodorant so uh, last time i shared with you that i use milica magnesia and what else did i have i can't remember what else i was using oh the schmitz schmitz is a good one unfortunately it started burning my armpits after a while using it, I don't know why. So I've been using this native. I do have to be careful a little bit too. Like if I do it right after I shave my armpits, um, I get I can be a little bit sensitive. So I just have to be careful how much I put on. There's no aluminum, paraben free, coconut vanilla. This is my favorite scent they have. And Target actually carries this now. This smells amazing. And the last one I have here is this Dot Conti. So my stepdad travels to India a lot and he was, he would start bringing me this back as a souvenir and I actually love it. It's natural, it's made, it's kind of tastes like clove, um, clove and cinnamon. It's a dark toothpaste, but it does not have any aluminum, any fluoride, any of those chemicals. So if you're very aware of what you want to use, this does have a stronger taste, but it's made with, um, sorry, I'm trying to read well, it's actually made out of and I can't really, um, calcium carbonate base and yeah. Okay. Herbal composition. Anyways, I like it. It doesn't have any um, chemicals in it. So that's it. If you guys have any products that you love, please let me know. I'd love to hear about the things that you love. Once I love a product, I love to share it with you and I will continue to do so as I find things that I love. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.